Like, what are they talking about? Like, what am I gonna go on a rant before I get off? What Anthem is showing us in the gaming community right now is how good this game is right here, Destiny, and the division is being the seasoned vets in this quote unquote looter shooter genre on consoles and on PC. Uh, originated on consoles because originally Destiny was not on PC. I digress. But people are now, well, I hope people are now looking back at Destiny 1 when it released and congratulating it on being what Anthem is not and really having 20 times more than what Anthem has in this release. Now, I'm not bashing Anthem. I'm just comparing both of the games at release. Destiny, yes, it was lacking some content, but you didn't get that until the end game. Though the end game still provided more content than what Anthem has currently. The loot system, though it was broken in Destiny, you can it was the loot cave. If uh, you was there Destiny Day One, you knew what the loot cave was, but you had to find that in order to get good gear you know what I'm saying in order to get you know uh, abundance of uh, powerful gear if it wasn't for that you would have to you know hit the, the strikes and or the raid but the raid I don't believe the raid was out during that time uh, that the loot cave was popping it was probably in that first week when people found the loot cave um, the only way you can get max level was through the raid, which I think was quite possibly the best way to do it. You had to do this pinnacle uh, in-game activity to get the most powerful gear in the game. I think that was a good idea, but they strayed away from that because they wanted to cater to quote-unquote more casual players given and providing routes to get to max level through strikes and or through the crucible and or through gambit uh, and uh, trials and uh, but that came on later down the road um, but you see my point um, back to Destiny 1 a uh, beautiful game the gunplay f f felt absolutely awesome the cosmetics uh, though it was uh, gear based uh, you still felt a sense of pride because you know you had a certain you know gear set on a gear piece everybody knew you went through the raid because that was the only way you get that raid set or they had a crucible set or they had a vanguard set and they actually had um the faction set even though it was really no uh, incentive to go get it but if you had it you know everybody knew you know you repped that faction which mine was future war code and I grinded to get the weapons and the gear so I can you know specifically I think I was on in my own time of playing uh, Destiny 1 and probably in the first couple of months I was the only person that had it was one other person that I saw that had four Future War Call gear. Um, like all, all of the gear, the guns, and everything of that nature. Hello, that was in there also. That's Welcome. not talked about a lot. Uh, Vanilla Destiny also had... Um, but you see, do you see what I'm saying? It's abundance of contents there now. Not to mention, um, Anthem has, you know, the masterworks, but the guns are useless uh, and that's compared to Destiny's uh, uh, exotics those guns felt very unique all of them Gallahorn prestigious gun in Destiny 1 you had to have it see the community uh, some, uh, gathered around the Gallahorn like you needed to have the Gallahorn if you wanted to run the raid with certain groups from LMG um, but with the Masterworks and Anthem the whole system is broke because the roles that you can get can end up zero percent for zero percent like they will be completely useless and the power is less than what a rare shotgun would be you know what i'm saying so why would you grind and get these masterworks when 
you could potentially get a role that is useless now i hope you don't craft it <laughs> spending all of those uh resources do you see what i'm saying and you see the difference i'm not like i said i'm not bashing anthem we're just comparing uh essentially ea's first jump into the looter shooter and bungie's first jump into the looter shooter and even the division's first jump into the looter shooter uh, division vanilla division was an awesome game also i thoroughly enjoyed that i put that in destiny on the same level now the end game is what killed the division initially and they added all of the all of the things towards the end of that lifespan of division one and the division one if that game that complete game came out at launch we may not even be sitting here playing destiny right now that's why it's important to get these things right initially uh i'm excited for the division two because of the fact that they got everything right in the division one playing in the division two beta i had to put it down because i felt myself getting the groove and what yeah i can grind for you know whatever i was going to grind for there but i just put it down because i felt myself like i want to play this and i don't want to stop so i wasn't going to wear myself out on a beta which had limited uh limited uh what's the word i'm looking for um, experiences or activities for me to do so i played i played uh their in-game activity for a while and i played their uh <coughs> their i guess that was the beginning of the game or oh, whatever piece of the story that they gave us there for a bit i'm like yo i'm done see what i need to see I'm liking what i'm seeing can't wait for the full release that's what i'm at with the division now this game that we're playing right now very 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 excited for them <clears throat> well i'm excited for the game for this next dlc and i'm excited for bungie <clears throat> for this being their first content release after their part with activated <coughs> I'm excited for what they're gonna do. Their vid Vidoc look very, 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 very entertaining, <clears throat> to say the least. I'm excited. That's why I'm here right now. <coughs> but um, I can't wait for the division. I'm pretty much done with Anthem because the game, me and the game, won't get along. And I'm not even going to get into it. I try to do an activity. I go into a mission that's completely broken. And we're just there. It's spawning endless enemies without no progression through the mission. Or I get caught in them. No, I ain't. That, that happened during the update. I'm not going to bring it up. Or I've been getting infinite load screens every other mission. <clears throat> but I digress excited for uh season of the drifter wow all of the content that they had on there role specific gear and gambit prime what role specific gears yes we're talking about gear gear <coughs> cosmetics weapons content um, Gambit Prime, yeah, Gambit Prime, and I forget the other activity that goes along with Gambit Prime. After you're done playing Gambit Prime, it's uh, I think a Drifter something, <clears throat> no, something of the nine, and it's it's like their uh, they say it's the pinnacle uh, PvP activity. I see it's with four players, a unique take. Uh, I think I guess this is their <clears throat> I don't want to put it in the category but this is like their raid content that they're uh, showing right here uh, it, oh man it looks uh, very 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 good excited I, I can keep going but 
the, the division, I mean, not the division, um, what is that thing called? Anthem. For right now, it's not my cup of tea. Maybe I gotta let it sit and let it brew and let it steep for a little bit before I go back and make it. Maybe, maybe it tastes a little better, you know, next time I have this steeped, after it brew for a little longer. You know, coffee does taste better after you let it sit for a while. Wine does get better with age. <clears throat> so, they're learning. They're in the learning processes right now. But, me being a lifelong gamer, I'm used to games being complete when they released so that's why i'm okay with vanilla destiny because it had enough content in there the last four three four five months and let's say yeah i well i bought the uh, <coughs> ps4 bundle so it came with the uh the dlc content already the uh, what's that the, uh, the dark below and um was that the prison of elders i think it was came with that content so I didn't necessarily spend the extra funds on that but I would have been okay with doing that that's what I was getting to see Taken King mind blown come on now everybody know what the Taken King is what the Taken King did for Destiny <coughs> but you, you see my point you see Destiny has it can't wait to see what Bungie does with their independence. They have the potential to change the gaming industry forever and for them to be at the front of it. That's what I want to see. This is like <clears throat> Tom Brady in the Super Bowl right now. He's down 14 points. It's uh, five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Or bottom of the ninth two outs the bases are loaded four count and I'm not even going to use him no more because he just got uh, Phillies just signed him <coughs> if you know baseball you know what I'm talking about but my team the Nationals rides him been at the plate you already know what he about to do that, that's what Bungie that's the position Bungie is in right now they have they have a chance to knock this out of their park and win the World Series. But <clears throat> I'm gonna have to go take drink some tea or something. My allergies kicking my butt. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. <clears throat> Instagram underscore unofficial underscore official underscore YouTube. You got this right here. Stay tuned. Hit that bell icon. Subscribe. Like all our videos. <coughs> P.O.P. Hold it down. That's what I sound like. <coughs> uh, Twitch. Unofficial official gaming. <coughs> Still on the lookout for that Patreon. Thanks for tuning in once again. Lazy Shadow LP signing out later. <coughs>